So that's the composure. Then and Evans, then Evans comes over out of nowhere and just slams Lattimore to the deck. Over the years, a push in the back, and then that, that, that's the guy they usually get is the one who retaliates. Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore. They've been going at each other since 2017. In fact, and both Evans and Lattimore got thrown out of the game. It ended up being the turning point of the game, kind of, though. Before that, the Saints D was playing great and had been really frustrating Brady, it seemed. But after Lattimore got tossed, Brady hit Brashad Perriman for a touchdown and Jameis Winston turned around and threw a pick. And yeah, that was that. The Bucks won 20-10. But now, next week, they're already without who Julio Jones and Chris Godwin in week two due to injury, but now Mike Evans is suspended a game for the fight. Marshawn Lattimore, however, is not, and I think that's fair. Lattimore certainly had a role, and he was jawing at everyone a good bit, but Evans definitely took it past the line. He's gonna appeal it, but it sounds like Tampa won't have him against Green Bay in week three. This is far from the first time Evans and Lattimore have gone at it, though, and it's not even the first time Evans has been suspended for pushing Lattimore to the ground. Back in 2017, Lattimore was a rookie at the time, and Evans was already in his fourth season. Lattimore ended up getting in Jameis Winston's face, who at the time was the Bucks quarterback. It's kind of funny that he was on the other side of it this time. Winston had started that week nine game, but left due to shoulder soreness, and he kind of like shoved his finger into the back of Lattimore's helmet. So Lattimore turned around and pushed him in the chest. And then out of nowhere, again, oh, yeah. here comes the Evans decked Lattimore in the back. The two got separated by teammates, and then neither one was actually ejected. Winston was actually fined $12,000 for taunting Lattimore, and Evans was suspended for a game. The most recent big altercation between Evans and Lattimore ahead of week two this season was back in 2020 in week one. It wasn't nearly as wild as the other two, but it still matters. Early in the set, they both yelled at each other for literally the rest of the game, but never did fight again. So already before that big blow up in week two, there had already been plenty of history between the two. Evans had already been suspended for a game and fined in total $40,000 for run-ins with Lattimore. Sounds like another Another game will be added to that if he loses the appeal, and I have to imagine that he'll be fined as well. Lattimore had never been suspended, but had been fined $10,000 for that incident in 2020. He could be fined again, but who really knows? The fact that there's history between the two, and this just keeps happening, I think is a big reason why Evans got suspended and will be the reason why Lattimore gets fined, if that ends up being the case. So why? why do Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore just not like each other? There's a handful of reasons there. Three big ones, I would argue. Lattimore is a trash talker. He does it to literally every team and every quarterback. That's who Marshawn Lattimore is. Sometimes it gets taken too far or really pisses someone off, and Evans tends to be the guy that wants to always stick up for his quarterback and do whatever he has to do to do so. I think the biggest reason is that these guys are absolute competitors. Mike Evans is one of the best wide receivers in the NFL without a doubt. Evans is a nine-year veteran, and he's never had less than 1,000 yards in a season. That's just wild. Meanwhile, Lattimore is one of the best cornerbacks in the league. He's tasked with shadowing Mike Evans every time the Bucks and Saints face each other. Lattimore has made the Pro Bowl every year and was even the Defensive Rookie of the Year back in 2017. These are two good-ass players, and that's on full display every time they face off. It's now the sixth year of Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore matching up, and it's been an absolute pleasure. He was targeted six times and only caught a single pass for 13 yards. Now, Evans was way better the second time around, even though he did only catch five of 13 passes for 55 yards. Again, not really that great, but much better than before. Going year by year, you have to give Lattimore the edge in 2017, but Evans got the best of him in 2018. Evans in week one ended up going for 147 yards and a touchdown. Then later that season, Lattimore ended up with a pick and a forced fumble, but Evans still had his way with 86 yards on four receptions. 2019 gave us a true idea of how important Marshawn Lattimore is to that Saints secondary. So Lattimore didn't play that second game, but he did in the first. In week five, Evans was only targeted three times and didn't catch a single pass. Not one. 
With Lattimore inactive in week 11, he had 69 yards on four catches. If we're giving it to one of the guys, 2019 goes to Lattimore. Evans got to catch passes from Tom Brady starting in 2020, and that week one game was the second altercation when Lattimore got fined. But he still locked Evans' ass up. He was targeted four times, and he only caught one pass, and it went for a two-yard touchdown. In week 9, Lattimore only played in 70% of the defensive snaps. Evans ended up recording four catches for 64 yards. But that wasn't the end. The Bucks and Saints faced off in the playoffs, and Evans got locked up again. He was only targeted three times and just had a three-yard touchdown catch. Another year that Lattimore definitely got the best of him. Then we have last season, 2021. Week 8, Evans went for 48 yards on only two catches, one of which ended up in the end zone. Late in the year, Evans only played 23% of offensive snaps. He only had a single target that ended up being a 14-yard catch. That leaves week 2, when Evans had 61 yards on three catches, four targets. So, in 10 career games matched up against Marshawn Lattimore, Mike Evans has averaged just 44.8 yards in .36 touchdowns. For his entire career, Evans currently averages 76.1 yards per game and .61 touchdowns per game. Lattimore has locked him down. And that's why I would imagine Evan's temper usually flares, because Lattimore owns him. Here's a stat line you probably wouldn't expect. That Week 2 victory is the Bucks' only regular season victory over the Saints since 2018. Remember, they play each other twice a year, too. New Orleans has absolutely had Tom Brady's number since he went to Tampa. His first game against the Saints in red, New Orleans beat the hell out of him. Brady ended up throwing three picks and lost 38-3. It was the worst margin of defeat in Brady's entire career. Later in 2020, looking for redemption, New Orleans won 34-23, but that wasn't the last meeting of the season. The two met in the playoffs, and Brady got the last laugh in a 30-20 victory that not only was on the way to a Super Bowl, but was also the end of Drew Brees' career. The real question is, how the hell the Saints managed to beat Tampa both times last season? Like, it actually makes zero sense. Jameis Winston tore his ACL in that first meeting after he had only thrown 10 passes. The Bucks somehow allowed Trevor Simeon to come in, throw 29 passes, and ended up winning 36-27. Then, late in the year, the Saints started Taysom Hill at quarterback, and the offense, simply put, looked like shit. But New Orleans won because the Bucks didn't score a single point and lost 9-0. That's one of the things that might get overlooked in the Mike Evans versus Marshawn Lattimore rivalry, is that it's much bigger than just them. The Buccaneers and Saints have been chippy and at each other's throats for years. And damn, I hope this beef is just getting started.